Hey guys, it's Shalisi coming at you with my haul that I was telling you guys about. Most of this stuff was bought prior to Christmas. I do have a few things to share with you that I got during Black Friday. Legit only two things, so I'll start with that first. So, you guys know a couple months ago I did the tiny, the teeny tiny detox and for Black Friday they had the promotion where it was like buy one get one free. So I got two of the 28 day ones and two of the 14 day ones. I gave one to my mom yesterday and the other one is downstairs in my kitchen and I don't want to go back down there and get it but yeah I got two of those. Is that one about Black Friday? Well during Black Friday I also picked up the new Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. I had a coupon from Sephora where if you spent $50 you got $25 off and I used it for this bad boy. So y'all have probably already seen it but yeah. I love the packaging. I love that it's like gold. It doesn't come with a brush. And it has all of these beautiful neutral colors. I love that it has black out because that is my favorite black eyeshadow. And mine shattered in the single and in the palette that I have it in. So yeah, I'm really excited about these colors here and these ones here. These are good everyday ones, but I like color, you know. I like to do stuff with it. It comes with a few samples of her lipsticks that she'll be coming out with I think those are coming out later this year I don't know but it comes with Rocksteady 714 ex-girlfriend and Firebird so I'm really excited for those to come out because yes I will be getting some I'll try to get some we'll see how my spending habits are at that time then keeping it with the Sephora trend I picked up the Shumura Skin Purifier Antioxide Skin Refining Dull anti dullness Cleansing Oil. I bought it in the travel size as well as the 15 ounce size, which was like $92, but that still hasn't gotten here yet in the mail and I'm not gonna wait on it because I bought the small one and the big one, so yes. So eventually that will get here. For Christmas from Sephora, my girl Ashley, hey girl, got me a few things. Oh, let me start off with that. I picked up from the new Tarte, Tarte Slip Paints, Man Bun. I had ordered it online and I got it. I'm super excited. It was like this really dark one right here. So it's like a dark berry, but we'll see how it translates on the lip. Then from Tarte, she got me Frenemy. Which is very similar, like I mean extremely similar to Man Bun. I think Man Bun might have a little more of a berry undertone. Let me just re-pull that out. Okay, so... Man Bun is on top and Frenemy is on the bottom. Frenemy seems to be a little more red based. We'll see how it translates on the lip. I'm really excited either way for them. And she also got me Torque. Which is this really nice vibrant hot pink right there. She got me two lip pencils. One is turned up that matches Torque. Just like this really nice hot magenta. And then Mood Ring, which is supposed to match both Man Bun and Friend Me really well. Those right there. Random number calling me again and they're not leaving a voicemail, so I ain't really answering any of that. And then she also got me the new In Bloom palette. I really love the original and I was super excited when she got this one for me. This one is more, hold on, let me open it. The struggle is real. 
like that. It's more like warmer tones, I think. Do I have mine right here? Nope. Don't know where it is. Where it at? It's probably my bag. But yeah, loving this right here. Super excited to use it. Definitely gonna make some tutorials in the upcoming weeks for it. Super excited. Then, during, uh, let's keep it makeup, I guess. Then I stopped by MAC because I haven't really been buying MAC as you notice and whatever. And they had their holiday sets all 25% off. And I was like, ooh, what should I get? Nah, I'm not gonna get anything. But then I decided to get all three of the pigment sets for the simple fact that none of the colors were repeats from the previous year. So this is the Irresist Irresistibly Charming Glitters and Pigments set in purple. Really about this purple glitter. It comes with Pink Opal, Kitchmas, Fuchsia, and Rich Purple. I also got it in the blue one. So it comes with Naval Blue. What is this? Silver Fog. Blues for the glitter. Warm Snow. Then the last one was the gold one, which comes with Naked, Blonde's Gold, Out All Night, and Bronze Reflex. So I'm really sad about like, I think on my next day off, I'm gonna play around with those pigments and do a litter, a litter a look with them because you can probably still get them because when I was on the Mac site they still had a bunch of all the sets out last few things that are makeup wise this is all from Boxing Day uh, Velour Lashes had a sale where it's like you put a code in because it was like an early Boxing Day sale put a code in all your lashes were $24 I only purchased two the first one is Take It and Go Comes with a really nice pretty purple box. How do I get it out? Oh my gosh, the struggle. Every single time, I swear I struggle in all my videos. Mommy, have you opened this one yet? Nope. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Stuck in the real tape. So yeah, this is what the lashes look like. Right there. Super excited to use these bad boys. I think I might use them next when I wear them. The next ones I got were, got it from Mama, which are more of a natural pair, right there. And the last few things I got on Boxing Day, which is a Canada's Black Friday, I forgot to mention, was from Lush. And every year they have like buy one, get one free for like their holiday stuff. I got two of the Cinders bath bombs to the snow white white that snow <laughs> two of the yognog yegnog yognog something like that it looks like eggnog I got one of, I can't remember, I'll put this one link down below. Well, the name down below or on the screen. I got two of the Peeping Santa's bath bar, bubble bars. And two of the something Santa. I will put them down below. I can't remember the names off the top of my head. But yeah, that's my quick little haul. Sorry for all the commotion. Like, yeah, filming skills today were not on point. But I'll see you guys in another video real soon. Bye, y'all.